Hey fam, this is Ton. Today I am going to do a, a quick um, aesthetic mod to the Highlander. And I hinted this in a previous video, and that was my intentions to um, cover up this chromed out wing right here on the front grill. Uh, every time I look at it, I, I'm reminded of uh, a captain's wings or a flight, you know, what uh, flight attendants wear. And so I, I wanted to kind of black that out but still keep the uh, the chrome uh, trim around the rest of the grill. So what I did is I bought this piece right here. It's a glossy black ABS plastic that I'll be covering that portion up with. Uh, if you take a look in detail, it's just uh, some thick plastic with uh, 3M double-sided tape on the inside. Uh, looks like they just did a quick uh, spray paint uh, of black paint and uh, uh, to make it glossy. However, knowing that uh, this is going to be on the front end of my car, um, it's going to have a lot of wind. It's going to have a lot of bugs hit it. It's going to have like your occasional rocks that will hit it as well. And so before I actually put this on, uh, I'm going to um, apply uh, a coat of, um, of ceramic coating onto it. So that way it can give it that extra protection uh, so it can uh, endure for the long term. Um, however, this lasts, I don't know, maybe a few years, but I'm figuring with the ceramic coating, it'll at least uh, protect the uh, the paint and also uh, give it uh, some extra thickness uh, to endure the, um, the environment and conditions. So let me go and show you the uh, ceramic coating that I'm using here. So this is the ceramic coating that I purchased on Amazon. Uh, this had four and a half star reviews and I decided to pick this up because this is um, the best budget ceramic coating that uh, you, you'll probably find out there. I saw another YouTuber apply the ceramic coating onto his, um, his cargo box at the top and uh, it worked out pretty good for him. So I figured I'd get it as well. This only costs $20 and this is all that you get with it. Check this out. Not only do you get the 30 millimeter, I'm sorry, 30 mil, milliliter bottle of the ceramic coating. You also get the applicator pad. But wait, there's more. You get this microfiber towel to wipe down the ceramic coating at the end. And you get some instructions, but this is the cool part here. You get not only some black gloves, but you get a bunch of these cloths, microfiber cloths that you'll actually wrap this with. So once you're done using one of these, you can throw this away, throw one of these away, and then be able to reuse this the next time you need to apply it. Uh, it's kind of uh, rainy and cold out here today. So I will eventually do my, um, my side mirrors and apply a, a, a ceramic coating on it as well. But not for today. I'm just going to do this, um, the front grill piece and get that out of the way so I can put that onto my car. All right, so before applying the ceramic coating, got to make sure we clean this plastic thoroughly, even though it's pretty much clean for the most part. You want to make sure that you are getting rid of um, most of the contaminants off of the plastic fingerprints oils things like that so i'm going to give it a quick spray of some chemical guys interior clean all-purpose cleaner wipe it down and then use uh, like a alcohol spray in this case i got an alcohol uh, wipe i'm going to wipe it down and um, get that prepped once that's completely dry then we can go ahead and apply the ceramic coating Squeaky clean. Uh, 
Uh, if it didn't look shiny before, it's definitely shiny now. Now it's time to apply the ceramic coating and uh, I put on the black gloves that were supplied, that's convenient. And using the applicator, there's a soft foam side right here and there's maybe five or six of these microfiber cloths that they supplied. This is really cool because once you apply it on, it grabs it pretty good. So it's not going to go anywhere, but of course you want to just do a wrapping something like that so that way you'll just put four to five drops of the ceramic coating here and then just brush it one way either going this way or you're going this way coat it real quick and from what my understanding is You'll give it one to three minutes when you start seeing it uh, flashing. So if you start seeing like rainbows or something, that's when you can use this really plush feeling microfiber to, to wipe it off. And then just let the, this thing sit overnight to cure. And then once that's done, then tomorrow uh, I can install this onto my car. There's the ceramic coating, a 9H hardness level. We'll just put a few, four or five drops here. One, two. Uh, I put more than five. It's working. You can definitely tell. Oh, this, this is a strong smell, so definitely want to do this outdoors or somewhere that it's well ventilated. This one coating alone is probably going to be enough. I'm trying not to touch it. The areas that. See it starting to flash already. That means that it is almost time to wipe it down. Take the microfiber. Bad time for a phone call.
that's it. Now, let it sit overnight. See you tomorrow, and we will put this onto the Highlander. All right, so it is the next day. And this is looking shiny as ever, and I bet you it's silky smooth, yep. Nice and smooth because of the ceramic coating. So before we apply this onto the vehicle, uh, we gotta clean this to the best of our ability. Now, it was raining and super windy, and you can tell all this debris over time, all these little, little quills. Uh, have collected up inside in these cracks right here so I grabbed the toothpick piece of paper and basically I already did most of it but you want to run it all the way through from the top until you can get out all that gunk and you want to do the same thing right below right here and here's why I found a lot of nasty moss and stuff like that that was building up so I got most of it out already but you just take the toothpick, run it in, and then clean it off. And then uh, I'm going to give it a, a quick spray of my Chemical, chemical Guys um, all-purpose cleaner. Wipe it down with a microfiber, and then we'll go ahead and install this on, and we'll see what it looks like uh, at the end here. All right, so just gave it a spray. And now, clean it good. Get a squeaky clean. Off as well. All right, there it is. The lighting sucks. Let's see if we can get a better angle this way. So, this is what it looks like. Before I put on this black uh, trim. All right, so you don't have to do this, but I did a quick um, test fit and it's barely notice it when it's on, but when this is applied onto the car, on the back, you will notice uh, the upper lines right here it's not fully painted so there's uh, corners right here that I'm just going to use a sharpie and I'm going to just color it in black just on the top that's the only part that's noticeable but even if you don't do this with a sharpie it's still not that noticeable I'm just really anal like that I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do this and then I'll go ahead and remove the backing this red backing off of um, the tape and we'll go ahead and stick it on All right, I did I did half of this with a sharpie just to kind of give you an idea. You can tell that the top part right here, I blacked it out a little bit more, so it's not as noticeable. Like I said, you don't really need to do this, but I'm just doing this to kind of show you the contrast. So this is a part where I'm just starting it right here to black out. There's the top part. Finish it off. We'll snap this on. All right, so I got the the red backing peeled off of the 3M tape, and this is ready to go on. I colored the top with a sharpie as best as I could. Don't have, really have to do it, but I did it just for the heck of it. So let's go and put this on.
give you a close up in there. You can still see the silver inside of it, but that's what the cover looks like. The gloss matches perfectly with the grill. And when I zoom back, now I don't see those wings. They're not as announced as uh, when they were chrome before. So I'm happy with the way this turned out. They do sell another version where that wing is blacked out, but so is the chrome around it. But that was like $200. So I, I couldn't stomach spending that kind of money for that. So 40 bucks getting this works for me. Gives it that contrast. Has that glossy look that matches the grill. We'll see how long this lasts. Um, if this is a, a year or two or five years, who knows? Again, time will tell. But I wanted to do a quick tutorial showing you what it looks like before and after. Again, if you like these videos, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll uh, continue putting out more content. Peace.